Hello everyone and welcome to the Orthodox Wanderer YouTube channel. Today I'll be talking about something that is very very important to all believers and all the ritualists and that is the prayer rope they, they use which is called the Lestovka or Lestovka. However uh, you want to pronounce it obviously it's a borrowed word from Slavonic and Russian so there's probably not a correct way of pronouncing it in English. However I've been getting quite a lot of questions about this prayer rope how it works, why it me what it means, why this is used and not like the standard so-called Greek prayer rope is used. And while I did answer some of these questions in the live stream I did, uh, people kept reaching out. I think that not everyone saw the live streams even if they are archived. So I thought, you know what, today I'll just do a short, short video just explaining this um, so that it's there forever for you to see. So the last of basically means a ladder. Um, and the, the concept of the ladder is obviously you climb it. There's different steps of it. And that's the same principle with a Lestovka. That's the symbolism, the main symbolism of a Lestovka is that we're climbing to heaven. We're taking step by step. When we pray, it's like when we're walking steps. It could be you know, likened to the other, uh, to the other concepts of, of, of a divine uh, ascent to heaven. You have these steps of John of the Ladder and stuff like that. So obviously that's the first important symbolism with, with this prayer rope, and that is the ladder. Second of all, it's seen as a spiritual sword, and that's obviously a little bit militaristic and violent, but it's like Christ say, you know, that the, viol the ones that are violent will seize the kingdom of heaven. So in a way, it's a nice symbolic gesture that this is a sword against the demons. Obviously, we shouldn't swing it, we should pray on it, but it's still a very, I think, beautiful symbolic meaning. And obviously this prayer rope, this type of prayer rope, uh, is a very important part of, of the daily spiritual life, or should be a very important part of the daily spiritual life of an old believer, old ritualist. Um, on it we pray the Jesus prayer. On it we also have different prayer rules that our spiritual father might have given us. And also interestingly enough, something people do not know, is that there's actually a chart that old believers use. So if you, for instance, cannot participate in a certain in a certain um, a service at church, there is a set amount of these that you have to pray. So, so as you know, so as you can see, this can be used for personal prayer, for prayer rules, but also as a substitute for some of the services. For instance, vespers, I think you have to pray seven of these, which is 700. So, so it, it, it's used for various, various practical reasons. Now, if we look at the symbolic meanings of this of this prayer rope, the first one is is the first step, which is as you can see, flat. There's nothing here. And that is really a symbolic meaning of, of, of our starting point in our quest towards heaven, which is we start on earth. Uh, we start on flat earth. I mean, the, the earth is flat where we're standing and we try to move up to get to heaven, to get to Christ. So the first symbolic meaning is that that's the reason why this part here, as you can see, is actually flat. It's a symbol of, of earth. Now, then, we've, then we continue and we have 12 steps here. These 12 steps, uh, as you probably might suspect, uh, are a symbol for the 12 apostles of Christ. Very, very simple. Now, then we were met with 38, free aid, 38 steps. Now that's a bit, you know, that's a symbol is that many probably do not know of, and that's simply the, the weeks that Christ spent in the womb of the mother of God while she was pregnant with him. So that was 38 weeks, so you have these 38 small between these two. Now, if we would count these two with these 38, we'll have 40, which obviously 40 in, 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 the, in the biblical narratives and in the life of Christ is important. You have 40 days, 40 nights that Christ was in the, in the desert. You have 40 years in the desert of the Israel people. So 38 and 40, these are the symbolism. Now we move on, we are met with 33 steps, which obviously are the lives of Christ, the, the years of the life of Christ on earth, 33 years, Christ was 33 years on this earth. Then we go down here and we have 17, which are actually the 17 prophets of the Old Testament. But it doesn't end there. As you see, we have six big ones here and three here, which makes nine, nine big, big steps. Now, these nine big steps actually relate to the nine angelic ranks. As you might know, there's nine, there's, there are nine ranks of angels in the Orthodox Church, and these nine big steps symbolize that. And last, but definitely not least, we have the four um, sides here 
which are obviously the four Gospels or four evangelists. It depends how you want to see it. For me, it's one and the same. The evangelists are obviously very tied to their Gospels, so this is a symbol of the four of the four Gospels. So, so here you have the the traditional understanding, old believer understanding of what this uh, this this uh, the, what these symbols mean. However, it's, it's still very important to underline that at the end of the day, it's all about prayer. So while you're praying, it's not like you should, you know, imagine that this is, this is, you know, the 12 apostles, this is the 38 weeks of Christ in, in the stomach of the mother of God and so forth. That's not the point. Uh, the point is really just to pray the Jesus prayer and come and grow closer to Christ. So that's important. But the symbolism is very beautiful and I, and I hope I've managed to explain it. And before I finish, I just want to address a small thing that often we see these kinds of last of God, they're called the last of God, they have these divides into 10. And they can be this small they can be bigger now it's important probably to, to, to point out that these are not the traditional old russian lestovki uh, these are actually used for the made for the prayer and for the rule of saint seraphim of sarov who, who who had a special prayer rule he would give to his nuns and those nuns today in that monastery continue to make this special prayer rope that looks like a lestovka that looks like lestovki uh, however is there is a different divide and this is not traditionally called a lestovka uh, however, of course, uh, it's still used for prayer, so it's very good that it exists. However, I think it's important to to point that out. And below this video, in the in the um, in the description, I will post some links to to places where you can actually old order Olestovka. Uh, most of these places are uh, are are in Russia, as that's where I've gotten mine. It's not that I want to promote a single country. So if there's more places you know of, please put them in the in the comment section, and and um, so people could could order their Olestovkas. And most of all, you know, I wish you, I wish you that if you get one, that you really are able to draw closer to Christ and, and to pray on it, because really that's that's the main point of the last of God. The symbolism is beautiful, but without prayer, it's really useless. So, God bless you, and I hope that that if you get such a prayer rope like this one, that it will help you grow closer to Christ. Thank you for watching, guys. God bless you all, and see you next time.